going on today. It's me, Lucky McCoy, and I can't wait to get feuding again. Let's reintroduce our families. They triumphed last time, but can they do it again? They're going to bounce back in this game. You know the rules by now. Answer our surveys and try to guess the most popular answer. Okay, let's play Family Feud. Let's play another game. Let's get someone from each family down in front. We're looking for five answers here. Be sure to buzz in when you've got an answer to the survey question. If you're first to find the number one answer, you get to decide if your family will play or pass the round. 100 people gave us an answer to this question. Name something a teenage boy might borrow from his father without asking. You buzzed in first. Yes! Let's take a look. Razor! It's a good answer, but there's still a better one to be found. Can you find the top answer? It's still up there. Name something a teenage boy might borrow from his father without asking. Good answer. Nice! Let's see if it's there. Money! It's there, but it's not any better than what we've got so far. Is it your time to play or pass? All right, let's play then. I need an answer. Yep. Did any of our 100 people say it? Cologne. Nice job, but it's not the number one answer. Yes. Nice. There's only two answers left on the board. Um... Good, yeah. nice. That's good. Time to find out if it's up there. Clothing. You're doing great. There's only one answer remaining. Ah, yes. Could it be up there? Let's find out. Car. That's the final answer. It's a win over here. Here's how the scores are shaping up so far. We've still got plenty of game to go. Nowhere near as painful as it sounds, it's the face-off. I want two people to join me over here. We want three answers this time. All righty then. Buzz in first to get a shot at the top answer. Let's go. In our survey, we asked 100 people, Name something that goes flat. Fast fingers, my friend. Feeling confident? That's a good answer. Interesting answer. Let's see what the survey says. 
retire. Numero uno. So what do you say, pass or play? You're playing. Have you got some feud for thought? Uh -huh. no, yeah. Understood. Is it on the board? Soda. We're nearly there. What will you go for? Answer accepted. Is this the last answer we're looking for? Hair. And that board is clear. This is what a winning family looks like. All right, let's see where we're at. Don't feel so bad about a big fat zero. Look at it this way. If you end up with nothing, you don't have to pay any taxes on it. Let's get things going with the face-off. I'm going to need one person from each family to join me right now. The top six answers to this question are up on the board. All right, let's sweeten the pot a bit. All the point values for this question have been doubled. We took a survey of 100 people, asking them, tell me something that floats on the water. Fast buzzing. You have an answer? Yeah. Good answer. Oh, okay. Show me that answer. Boat. And you can't do better than that. Top answer. So, are you going to play or pass? Looks like you're going for a clean sweep. Keep it up. Your guess, buddy. Here we go, then. Let's see if it's up there. It's not on the board, so you've earned your first strike of this round. I'm going to need a guess from you. That's what you think, huh? Let's see if that's a good answer. Ooh, it's another strike. Ouch. Tell me something that floats on the water. Okie dokie. Did our survey agree? Body. Dang, that's three strikes. Sorry, folks. The other family has a chance. 
All they've got to do is find one answer on the board, and they can steal the round. If this answer is up there, you take the points for this round. Yeah. Yeah. I see where you're going with this. Our survey said, so that's what we were looking for. This family have bagged the win. Let's see what you missed. The fifth answer is... Wood. What was behind number four? People. What do we have in three? Plants. The second most popular answer is... Inflatables. So, where are we with the scores? Things have tightened up a little on the leaderboard. It's time for a face-off. Who's playing this time? Get yourselves over here. Top six answers on the board. The stakes are getting higher because we're now tripling the points. We got 100 people to answer the following question. Tell me something you let pile up when you're being lazy. You're up first. What do you got? Are you sure about that? Did our survey say it? Dishes. We've got a right answer, but it's not at the top. Give me an answer. Tell me something you let pile up when you're being lazy. Said with confidence. Our survey said clutter. Oh, it's not there. What's it to be, pass or play? Great, you're going to play. It's your go. What do you think? Okay. We have an answer. Could it be there? Laundry. Top answer. I bet you've got a great answer for us. Yeah. That's your answer. Let's check the board and see if it made it. Trash. Oh, that's nice. Nice. Tell me something you let pile up when you're being lazy. Sure thing. Is it up there? Dust. If it's not on the board, you get a strike. Hey there. Looks like it's your turn. Okay. Will that be one of the missing answers? Leaves. Ouch! Another strike. Do you have an answer? Okay, sure. Only a few answers left. Have you found one of them? Mail. You're still in this. Oh, great answer. 
Tell me something you let pile up when you're being lazy. All right, let's try it. Let's run with it. Newspapers. Way to stay in the game. One more strike and you're in trouble. That's already been given. That's three. It's time for the other team to have a crack at this. We just need one answer, and if it's on the board, the round is yours. You've got a shot here. Good answer. Feeling lucky? Do we have a right answer? Books. That's not it. Our winning family. Just the one answer left over. Here's what you missed under number six. Work. Okay, let's see those final scores. And we have ourselves some winnerinos. Well done, folks. Now you're playing fast money. Bye-bye, Coopers, you crazy cats. Time to cash in quick. It's fast money. We need two people for fast money. Who else is going to play? As team captain, you get to choose who'll be joining you to play Fast Money. Looks like we're all set. Let's go! You're going to go first. I'm going to ask you five survey questions, which you'll answer against the clock. If you and your teammate can score more than 200 points, you'll win the jackpot. And here we go! Name something a new mother gets to do when her baby is finally asleep. Tell me someone who might say to you, there's good news and bad news. Name something some people can only do with their mouths open. Name something you think of when you hear the name Willy Wonka. Complete this sentence. Walk the what? We're all out of questions. Now for the second contestant. Think you can do better? I'm not going to lie. Going second is a little tougher. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. Don't duplicate any answers, because if you do, I'll need another one. Ready? Start the clock. Name something a new mother gets to do when her baby is finally asleep. Tell me someone who might say to you, there's good news and bad news. Name something some people can only do with their mouths open. Name something you think of when you hear the name Willy Wonka. Complete this sentence. Walk the what? We're 
done. We have all the answers. Now it all comes down to this. Right, let's get back here on stage and see how you both did. For starters, we asked, name something a new mother gets to do when her baby is finally asleep. Here are your answers. Let's see what the survey said. Yes. Nice work. That's a top answer. For question two, we asked, tell me someone who might say to you, there's good news and bad news. So you said, I think you can be pleased with those answers. The number one answer. Next, we asked you, Name something some people can only do with their mouths open. You answered, Let's reveal what these are worth. Not your finest answers, for sure. Wondering about that top answer? Chew. For question four, Name something you think of when you hear the name Willy Wonka. You said, Two impressive answers here. No. Both of those answers got some points. Chocolate. That was our top answer. The final thing we asked you was, complete this sentence. Walk the what? The answers to this one. And our final survey said, no, Dang, no, no. that's not going to do it. You did a great job, just not quite great enough to win the jackpot. But don't worry, it'll be waiting for you next time. You won't be taking home the $20,000, but no one goes home empty-handed. We're going to take your score from Fast Money and the earlier rounds and multiply it up. That concludes the feud. We'll see you all again very soon. Goodbye.